there's been one really big motivational factor for me to recover, and that is to get my period back because of the dangers of amenorrhea or loss of a period. Now, there are many opinions about this. Most of them are wrong if they say that it's no big deal because it is a big deal. It's a big deal to every part of your body, your mind, and everything else. So I'm going to discuss that. My doctor, one time I walked into him and I told him that I didn't have my period and I was a little worried about osteoporosis and fertility problems further down the road. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll give you a pill to get you on that. You just enjoy it right now. You are the luckiest girl in the world. He's also the same person who told me that if I relapse in my eating disorder, it's no big deal as long as you don't take it too far. And a good thing about that is that your eating disorder always tells you when you're taking it too far because it's just that great. <sighs> but here, let's talk about amenorrhea. Now, the type of amenorrhea that is caused by weight loss, stress, or overexercise is functional hypothalamic amenorrhea and that causes hypoestrogenism. And it can lead to different things in the reproductive system, which is what I'm going to discuss first. And I wrote down all this information here, and I'll link it down below, but I need to consult my sheet of paper. So if you get it, if you get functional hypothalamic amenorrhea before or during puberty, it can cause delayed menarche which is your first period, so it can delay that, and uh, anovulation and infertility, and then also dyschronic puberty. And I looked that up. I'm not really sure what that is. I think from dyschronic, it's like interrupted puberty. Um, it also can lead to under development of secondary and tertiary sex characteristics, and that is during puberty. But if you're an adult woman who loses their per your period, it causes different things when you're an adult, such as urogenital mucosa and muscles of the uterus experience atrophic changes, which is wasting away, which is very important because your urogenital mucosa allow you to fight off infections. It also, when you have functional hypothalamic amenorrhea, it increases the likelihood that you will get a miscarriage or preterm labor and that's for both women and pubescent children. Okay, and that is the reproductive system changes, but the worst problem with having amenorrhea due to weight loss, stress, or exercise is that your bones are messed up, osteoporosis or um, osteopenia. So estrogen, remember that it causes hypoestrogenism. Hypo estrogen is a really important hormone for your peak bone mass formation. And without estrogen, it can cause osteoporosis and osteopenia, which is weak bones. And so when you're, you know, 30 and you step wrong on your foot, you break a bone because he wanted to post a cute picture on Instagram. It just doesn't make sense to sacrifice this huge necessity of a female body in order to look a certain way. Your cardiovascular system is also messed with, causing it's more likely to cause endothelial dysfunction. And endothelial means pertaining to the inner lining of blood vessels. Also, lipid profile changes. And finally, it causes depression, anxiety, and sexual problems. So this is a very big motivational factor for when I was going to try and get my period and also for when I, right now, like when I want to relapse, I just remember I don't want those things to happen to me. I ha hadn't had it for three years. I have it now. But... I don't want to go back because I don't really want children right now, but osteoporosis really scares me, and that, for good reason, too.
So I hope this motivates you or encourages you that you're on the right track. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.